Today's episode is brought to you by the Ants, Underground Kingdom. They're so fast. One, two, three. And first they go right under his fingernail! We all know that when Coyote Peterson shows up with his little red container and a pair of forceps, a sting is likely close to follow. Today I'm in Australia, and right in front of me there is a very unassuming pile of dirt. It is the mound of the bulldog ant. And we're gonna try two things today. A single sting so that I can rank this insect on the insect sting pain index. I've never been stung by it before, and it's only fair to test a single sting before we bring on the big game. The big game is me putting myself into the position of a gardener who's disturbed a mound of these fiery ants. I'm going to catch many of them, quite possibly hundreds of them, inside of the same box that we debuted in the Angry Yellow Jacket Box episode. Now my hand's gonna go in the box, and we're gonna find out just how bad the magnitude of stings from this insect really can be. Now to do a single sting, all we need is a single ant. And to catch one, shouldn't be too difficult. Watch this. All I gotta do is put this little cup down like this. There we go. <laughs> it was that easy, getting one to jump inside of the container. Now this is what I would call a medium-sized ant. Not nearly as big as a bullet ant, but the rumor is its sting is quite possibly as bad. Today, we're gonna find out just how bad it really is. Now, the bulldog ant, commonly known as the bull ant, or as many people call it, the jumping jack ant, is famous because of their ability to jump. Here we go. Now my heart rate's starting to get one. Oh no, no, oh no, you're jumping away. Nope, stay over here. Jump under the cup. Okay, it's just on my hand. Coyote Peterson, and I'm about to enter the sting zone with the bulldog ant. Oh yeah. <laughs> right, you got the shot there? You didn't? Oh yeah. No. Oh, he's still jumping around. Come here, buddy. Oh, gotta get you back into the container. All right, come here, come here, come here. Don't sting my hand too. Okay. Yep. Starts off strangely as just a little bit of a tingle. Not really that painful, but it is beginning to increase. At this point, nowhere close to a bullet ant. I would probably say it's about a two, and we're only 15 seconds in. Let me see if this is gonna get worse. Okay. If this is as bad as it's gonna get at this point, I'm calling it a two. And now, the reason you guys all really clicked on this video. Trent, the box, please. <laughs> I think you guys recognize this contraption. It's the same box we used when I put my hand in there with 200 angry ah! yellow jackets. Ah! The next part of this episode has me putting myself into a worst case scenario. Imagine that you're a gardener out there digging around in the garden and you don't realize that you have disturbed an entire mound of bulldog ants. When those ants spill out and they're angry, boy, do they sting in mass. Now the goal is to catch several hundred of them inside this box. Okay, I'm gonna go for that. Once they're in the box, my hand also goes into the box. I think we all know what's gonna happen at that point. Now, before I place my hand into a box of stinging ants, first I want to say thank you to today's sponsor, the Ants Underground Kingdom. I have so many great things to say about this game. I've only started playing it recently, and if you're a beginner like me, you start underground. Now, the first thing you have is your queen. She's ended up in a new land, and you have to start building out the environment. It's very simple to play this game. And once you get going, your little ant colony then starts to collect resources. You've got little wood louse that you are essentially feeding to the queen. There are water droplets, there are honeydew droplets. You can start building fungi establishments. I've got all sorts of plants that are built in here and I'm starting to fight my first creatures. Actually, I had my first battle the other day with a spider. 
Now, the creatures you will battle get even cooler as you advance in the game, like an attack on a scorpion. Whoa! And there are even special ants you can unlock, like the Banshee Velvet, the Dark Giant, and the Mimicry Master. To increase your combat power, you'll need to build your ant army. Try hatching special ants, like my favorite, the Bullet Ant, to protect the ant hill. These ants are the real heroes that can provide protection against melee and ranged attacks. Now, unlike what I do in the field, the Ants Underground Kingdom is a safe and engaging way to learn about the ant world. There are no painful stings here. For somebody like me who doesn't play a lot of mobile games, it's really easy to figure out exactly where you need to be and when in moving the gameplay forward. Currently, I'm on level four, and I heard that when you get to level five, you leave the colony and you get up and out into the outside world. What's really cool about this game is you're actually learning about ant colonies as you're playing. The species are scientifically accurate, and as you're playing, you really get to learn the structure of what happens within an ant colony between the soldiers, the workers, the forgers, and the queen. It is a constant little society that is functioning here right in the palm of your hands. So it's, it's not often that mobile games are actually providing you an education as you're passing the time. Man, my colony is really expanding. The Ants Underground Kingdom is the world's first mobile strategy game themed around ants and insects. It has more than 40 million players. So once you've got everything ready, you can lead your ant army into the wild and even make friends with global players to defend colonies together. If you use code COYOTE before August 29th, you'll get 10 free draws to obtain resources to help you level up quickly. Click the link in the description to download and play now. Okay, here we go. Putting my hand into a box of bulldog ants. A single sting ranked as a two. My arm is red. It's beginning to itch just a little bit. I can't even imagine what a magnitude of stings is going to feel like. The next step is to get my hand inside of the cloth. I'm gonna use these two rubber bands to secure the cloth so that the ants don't just get out and run all over the place. But I have a feeling that once my hand goes in there, they're going to attack, they're gonna latch on, they're gonna bite with those mandibles, and then they're gonna sting. The stinger will likely get stuck in my arm. Now, they're not gonna lose their stinger, but they'll keep it there and pump venom load after venom load. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna take off these bracelets. I'm gonna take off my wristband. I'm Coyote Peterson, and I'm about to enter the ultimate sting zone with the bulldog ant. One, two, three. Ants are on me, investigating. Getting bitten, getting bitten. Ah, dude, first sting out right under the fingernail. All right, now, now they're starting to realize that there is an invader. Ah, I'm stuck in the palm of the hand. Holy mackerel, holy mackerel, okay. Uh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, these things are feeling worse than what was happening on my, on my, on just my forearm. Mm. 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 Some of the ants are starting to get out. Hold on. Let me just, you can't, you can't leave yet. Don't leave yet. Ow! Oh! Oh! Mm. You guys see my wrist well enough? Oh! Yeah, they're kind of getting all over me at this point. Let me turn around like that. Oh! Okay, now I got several ants on me in several places. The ones on my wrist are the ones that hurt the most, but strangely enough, not all of the ants are attacking. You can see that the container is starting to fog up, and that's because my hand is beginning to sweat big time. I'm in a lot of pain at this point. And strangely enough, a lot of the ants are really recognizing that there is an escape route now. So I think they're more interested in getting away necessarily than they are attacking, but a number of them have definitely taken to my hand and said, oh yeah, this is the hand that abducted us. Oh, it's on my legs too. 
Oh man, there's ants all, there's ants all over the deck at this point. They must be escaping out of the bottom. Okay. Okay, I think I'm gonna try to take this off. Ow! I'm gonna take this off at this point. Wait, that's maybe a bad idea. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to get my hand on there. Okay, I'm gonna pull it out slowly, but the ants are gonna come off. Okay, I think I got, I think I gotta give in. I don't know what to do. I'm panicking. Ah, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna pull my hand back through here as gently as I can so I don't hurt any of the ants. Maybe they're, just, they're just gonna kind of slide off. I didn't really think about that. Oh, the one's getting worse. Uh, I just gotta get this thing off. I gotta get this thing off. Uh, I'm gonna try to crinkle this up so more ants don't escape. I still have several of them on my hand. Oh God, this is really bad. Uh, try to get a couple shots of them on my hand. I gotta get them off. Uh, uh, I'm holding still for these tight shots. I'm telling you, these guys are big. Uh, okay, Marlo, how are you? Um, hang on a second. Uh, uh, okay, up, 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 come on, up, up. <clears throat> Okay, mm, two times a lot. If I rank this as a two with a single spin, man, my hand is absolutely throbbing right now. Oh, it's building. Uh, 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 the pain is not nearly as bad as the Yellow Jackets. The Yellow Jacket initial impact was way more extreme than the Bulldog Ants, but strangely enough, the mandibles, once they locked in place, hurt as well. Uh, Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Holy cow. All right. This is definitely more painful than fire ants. Definitely more painful than harvest ants. Oh, I would say at man. this point, I am crescendoing up near bullet ant level of pain. Oh, hold on. I gotta get up and look around for a second. Ah, I'm just gonna cut this camera. Uh. I'm just try I'm trying to hold my composure to not have as much dramatics, but it is really, really, really bad. Oh, and about a minute and a half to two minutes in, it starts to build more so. And oh, look, my hand is, is oh wait, I think, I think it's turning purple because I have these rubber bands on me still. Ow. Oh, the ones on the back of my wrist right there, honestly the worst. Very sensitive skin there, all here on my fingers. And in about a minute and a half to two minutes, the welts are gonna start to form. Oh. Oh. <sighs> my hand is turning purple. Does anybody else see this? My hand is turning purple. I can't really move my fingers. Now look at this one right here, dude. This is the first one that got me on the palm of my hand. Oh. <laughs> look at the tips of my fingers. How strange is that? Look at all this blotching that's forming. Wow, we have never seen a reaction like this before. Regret level, as compared to the yellow jackets, not nearly as bad. Worse than a single sting, unquestionably. All right, let's go back over there. <clears throat> Jimmy Crickets. <clears throat> Ants all over the place. <laughs> Uh, it's really, really painful. The pain is more intense minutes after than it is on the initial sting. The initial sting almost feels, if you can describe, sweet. You can feel it happening, but you're almost kind of giggly a little bit. It's kind of like, ah, oh, it tickles just a little bit. And then it starts to burn. And right now my hand feels like it's in a state of paralysis. It's throbbing, having trouble moving my fingers. There is discoloration happening in my hand. So, the stings here, and then the back side of my wrist, I think are probably the most painful. And here's what's interesting. I saw a variation between putting my hand into a box of bullet ants, in which I was stung zero times. I put my hand into a box of yellow jackets and was stung over a hundred times. But these ants 
Some attacked and some were more interested in escaping. My hand actually feels really cold now. Oh man. Ugh. And what's unique is that when these insects sting, they insert the stinger and they leave it in. They don't lose the stinger, but they keep pumping venom. So in each individual sting, I got more than your average yield. So if you were to get stung by one of these ants, all you need to do is flick it off, get yourself away from the danger zone. So if you're out there working in your garden, remember, when we showed you the opening to the original nest where we pulled the single ant from, it was barely noticeable that there were ants there until we disturbed the nest. So if you're out there digging and you unearth a mound of these and find yourself covered, brush them off, get yourself away from the nest, and you're probably going to be just fine. Now the sting from this ant is not likely to cause any serious medical reaction. It's gonna hurt, it's gonna swell up, Unless your body is going into some sort of allergic reaction, your throat is swelling up, you're feeling uh, super dizzy, you're vomiting, or you're recognizing your body is having an adverse reaction beyond just pain, get yourself to a medical establishment as quickly as possible. Don't drive yourself, have somebody else take you, but the chances are you're going to be absolutely just fine. It is a painful sting, but I would say if you were stung this many times by bullet ants, it would be far worse than taking on the onslaught of the bulldog ant. So there you have it, another sting box episode. My hand is in pain, I'm ready to call it a day, but a big thank you to the Ants Underground Kingdom for sponsoring this episode. Check out the game, click on the link in the video description below for all the details. Remember, it's free to download, it's an absolute blast, and the ants are fantastic. In fact, there's even bulldog ants in the game. I'm Coyote Peterson, be brave, stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. I need an ice cream cone. <laughs>